In today's video, we're going to take a deep dive into the new B-Snaggers Army Box. Then the entirety of the cosmos is accessible to each and every individual mind connected to the great mind, the great spirit. Welcome back to the Studio Collectors. So in today's video, I thought it would be a good idea to mix in a little bit of 40k content into our regularly scheduled Age of Sigma Dominion painting videos. So if you're a fan of our Age of Sigma Dominion painting videos, fret not. There are still videos coming out such as the Ultimate Stormcast Eternal Painting Guide featuring Indrasa and the Ultimate Crew Boy Painting Guide featuring the Killer Boss on Nash Roof. So back to today's video where we'll be focusing on this army box that Games Workshop has dropped on us since Warhammer Fest 2021. So here's a little overview of who the Beast Snaggers are. So the Beast Snaggers are a new faction of Orcs from the 40k universe and their specialty is hunting down bigger prey such as Imperial Knights and so on. This can really be seen in their aesthetics where they have a lot of mechanical and bionic components fitted onto them and some of these parts are sort of salvaged and scavenged from other preys that they have hunted down before. As of last week, they have also reviewed a lot more Beast Nagger kits coming your way and we are so excited to get them painted too. So some of these kits that really caught my attention are Scrap Bat on the Great White Squid and the very very new Orc Boys, after so many years, Orc players have finally gotten the new Orc Boys where they don't look like the spines are already half twisted and broken. So as an overview, this box comes with 20 of the Beast Nagger Boys, 3 Squid Hawk Riders, 1 Nob which is apparently the leader, as well as the named character Zog Grot who is finally making a return to the 40k universe. But who can forget the star of the show which is the Gretchen riding the Squid that model just looks so cute and so insane. So as usual, this video has been divided into easy to watch and useful chapters. So if you are looking for a particular segment, just head on to that chapter and watch away. So the chapters for these videos are gonna be Unboxing The Codex Flip Through The Assembly Guide My Recommended Sub-Assemblies And lastly, the 360s and size comparisons of the models in this box with an Intercessor Space Marine. So enough talking, let's get unboxing the Beast Naggers Army Box right now. Alright, so now that the plastic has come off, we are going to have a look. And it looks like, oh damn, it looks like there's a little easter egg here. This is the white squid, the great white squid. And it's nicely sleeved. I really like how Games Workshop put this easter egg here. And look, the death cock of Kree is here. And it looks like this is going to be for the upcoming kill team. Okay. So without further ado, let's take a look at what's inside the box and we shall see. Okay, so now we are looking at the contents of the box. So we are having the cards right here, which we'll have a closer look. Okay, then what we have here are the bases and we have Zotgrot, the base of Zotgrot. Okay. Then we have Squid Hawk Riders. So it looks like Squid Hawk Riders will come in their own sprue. Okay. One, two, and three of them. And it looks like the Knob Leader also comes with the Squid Hawk Riders. So it'll be very curious and very interesting to see how they're going to split this up. What I reckon is it looks like this is going to split right in the middle. And the Knob's parts are all here. Alright. So we are greeted with some artwork here. This looks like gas goo, but it's not really gas goo right here. Okay. And then we have 20 boys. So it looks like these 20 boys will be packaged separately and independently in the future. These are identical sprues. So you get two of the same. Okay. They look very detailed and these are the beast snagger boys. So you can tell because they have the scales and they have all the random parts there. They have gotten from their hunt. Okay, so let's put the Beast Nagger Boys aside. And we're going to look at arguably the most important part of this codex. So let's go through this and we're going to flip through the codex in just a little bit. 
So now that we've unboxed the Beast Snagger Army Box, let's take a quick look through at the codex included in this box. Okay, welcome to the flip through. And what we're going to do right now is we're going to start slicing this open. So what you see right here is the limited edition codex that you will get with your Beast Snagger Army Box. This limited edition codex is only available with this Beast Snagger Box. So if you didn't get your Beast Snagger Box, you won't be able to get this codex. So in this packet, what you will have is the instruction manual. And right here is just, of course, just explaining how do you get the 20 parts, which we'll look at in detail when we assemble the models. Okay, so this is instructions. And now we're going into a detailed flip through of the codex. So I'm just going to look for stats that are interesting for you so that you can just pause the screen and just have a look, possibly screenshot. I'm just going to make sure that the glare is not too serious here so that you can actually see what I'm reading. And let's zoom straight in so that we get best resolution as possible. Okay, so story, story, lots of art, lots of art. Okay, just talking about the individual characters here. Okay, more art, more art. Okay, let's just skip straight to the useless stuff. Okay, so it looks like there are some rules over here. And it looks like there are some stats so i'm just gonna move it over here so that you can have a look so more rules right here attachment abilities combat patrol okay so the different clans okay so the different clans these are the snake bites that we're getting in the box then of course Speed Freaks, Freebooters, Blood Axe, and then Specialist Mobs, Custom Jobs. So these are the stratagems for the Orcs. I'm going to just hold it here so that you guys can have a more detailed look. Okay, the Warlock Traits. So these, these are some relics that you can use Honestly, I have no idea what they are Because I'm mostly a painter I don't really play the game Rather, I haven't played the game at all So I'm just flipping this flip through For all you guys who are die-hard orc players So if you are a painter like me You can always skip this chapter And head on to the recommended sub-assembly Otherwise you can always just screenshot these areas and you can use this in your games. Because I understand that when this box launches, you're not going to get access to this codex as early as people who have gotten the army box. And the army box comes in very very short supply. Okay, so here are the individual stats for the models. So let's look at this if there's any other hidden models that they have yet to launch. So this is the interesting war boss that's about to launch with the Gretchen on board. Right here. Some character models. Okay, so it's more characters. The beast boss that was shown recently. Pain boss with two different heads. Oh, this is the world boy that we saw. Oh, and the great white squid. I'm really excited. I want to paint this guy up so bad. Okay. So beast snagger boys, knobs, pain boy. Oh, there are really, really a lot of models. 40 years worth of models to be precise. I think this mech is new though. I've not seen this model before. Let me know in the comments below if this is an old model. Commandos. Looking forward to the new Q Team Commandos here. More knobs. 
Okay, knob on smasher squid. This is a new model right here. I guess now we are in the fast attack area. So this is the squid hawk boys. Excited to get them painted. Death copters coming out really soon. Wow, so many vehicles. Killer cans, gun wagons. Yes, this is the AV weapon gang. The kill rig, kill rig is going to be very interesting. Huge model. Hunter rig. Oh, this is interesting. This looks like something that is not released yet. It looks like it might be an alternative build of the kill rig. Interesting, interesting. The truck. Burner bomber. Dark jet. Okay, so I hope you guys can see all the stats properly. And I'm flipping through. Coffin on. Macboy Workshop. I think this one came with Speed Freaks. Let me know because I'm not too sure. And oh yes, the boss bunker. That's new too. Alright, so that's all the stats. So these are the weapon profiles that you might want to use in your games. Okay. And point values. This is really important. I'm just going to pause this here so that you can have an accurate look of the point values and glossary and references all right okay so that's the flip through done so we're going to look through the cards too and see what's in the cards so the box comes with the cards also so we're going to just cut this out Let's look at what we get in this box of cards. Okay, nice. Okay, let's just look through the cards one by one. Okay, I'm just gonna zoom in a bit more. Let's smile. Looks like these will be really interesting and useful in your game so that you can just bring in the information you need just forgive me because I don't have much to comment about this because yes I don't play the game but remember for all of you who are playing the game I'm just going to go through this really slowly so that you can see every single card in high detail. Even looking at these cards, I think it's really interesting because it lends a lot of lore to the models that I paint. And because they lend a lot of lore, you can think about how these are relevant to your painting monster hunters stratagems now we have the stratagems okay big boss quite a lot to beat So I guess you're not going to get any of the stat cards in here, but these are all the stratagems. I think really going to be useful if you play the game. So these are all the stratagems. And done. Okay, next up we're going to assemble the miniatures and I'm going to show you guys some of the sub-assemblies that I will recommend. So now that we've taken a closer look at the contents of the box, we are going to start assembling some of the miniatures. For this segment, I'm going to be assembling a Beast Snagger boy, I'm going to be assembling a Squid Hawk Rider boy, as well as Zodgrod. After assembling these models, I will also be highlighting the areas on these models that you should be taking note of. 
so that you can do some gap filling. I foresee that there's going to be quite a bit of gap filling because the Squid Hawk Rider Boys tend to have a lot of organic areas and those are areas that we should be focusing for the gap filling. So without further ado, let's get assembling these models right now. Alright, okay so I'm going to be assembling the Beast Snagger Knot which is the leader. Alright, so as I mentioned in many of my unboxing and assembly videos, you want to make sure that you cut the miniature off with a little bit of plastic left. Don't cut it flush to the mini because you would definitely not want to damage the mini. So now with the little bit of plastic, it's easier to just snip off the extras because now your nippers can reach the mini a lot closer. So as you can see when I'm assembling this knot, there are a lot of connection parts and these parts can be quite intricate so you want to make sure that you cut off all the knobs. Placing just a little bit of super glue and because all the parts are not push fit, you want to use either super glue or use plastic cement to glue the parts together. The fitment is just fine. Minor gap filling might be needed. And the parts fit on perfectly and have very very little tolerance. Okay, so right here I'm just gonna be using a bit of an exacto knife just to scrape off some of the more lines. Okay, using a bit of sanding sponge, you can also use this to remove some of the more obvious and more exposed more lines. I've opted to do this knob with an X because I felt that the X is looking a little bit more interesting and I don't want him to have one arm shot. Okay, now moving on to the Squid Hawk Riders. Okay, just snip off the parts. I'm just going to be leaving the armor panels off also because I find that the armor panels can be a little bit in the way when I'm painting them. I want to paint the armor panels separately. That will speed up my painting process. I actually have a very interesting color scheme in mind for the Squid Hawk Riders. So if you want to see me paint up the Squid Hawk Riders, comment below. Comment Squid Hawk Riders. Alright? Okay, so now the rider is done and it fits very nicely on. You can assemble the rider separately from the Squid Hawk and you can see that there is some gap filling that's going to be needed and we're going to do that shortly after. Okay, so now I'm going to be using AK Grey Party right here. Just filling up the gaps. Don't need to be too precise because what I'm going to do, I'm going to use my David Dremel rotary tool thing to sort of grind down the putty which will give a very flush and smooth finish. I'm also using a sanding bit and this sanding bit is slightly softer so it doesn't really eat into the plastic. What it does is it really flattens out the areas. Okay, so there's also a huge gap on Zotgrot. So you want to make sure that you fill up this gap for Zogrod and grind it down later. Okay, so now that all the gaps are filled up, I'm going to be using my soft sanding bit and I'm just going to grind down some of these gaps to remove the extra Yes, you see, you just really can flush down the puppy. And it really fills up the gap very beautifully. So similarly, I'm doing this for the backpack on Zod Drop. And I'm just going to be using a little 
metal tip here to grind down a little bit more because this knob is looking a bit too obvious for my liking. So now that we have assembled the models, I'm going to look at the models close up and recommend some sub-assemblies so that it will make the painting process as painless as possible. So some of these models can be really complex so I'm looking to see if I can leave off the riders, leave off some armor plates and stuff like that so that we can paint particular colors and components separately. Alright, so let's look at the sub-assemblies right now. Okay, so these are the sub-assemblies that I'll be using for Zotgrop. I'm leaving the head separate but I'm attaching the hair on so that it's easier to paint. Okay, so I've not glued up the base for Zotgrop and I find it really cool that there's a dinosaur squeak footprint there. So for the squeak hawk riders, this is something that I'm really impressed. You can keep the rider separate. So you want to paint the squeak hawk, the rider and the little Gretchen at the back separately. I'm leaving away the armor panels too, so that I'll paint them independently. As for the Beast Snagger boys, most of the poses are pretty open, so I'll leave them in one piece so that it makes painting a lot easier. And I'm just going to leave off the banner at the back. Okay, so those were the sub-assemblies, and now it's time for an interesting part, which is the 360s and the size comparisons. The models look really intricate, so let's see how they compare to a primary space marine. So there we have it, this is Zotgrot along with a primary space marine. You can see that its base is significantly larger, however it's roughly the same height as the primaries. For the Squid Hawk Riders, as you can see, it towers over the primary space marine, however the rider itself is actually smaller than the primary space marine. This is a lot smaller than I thought. As for the knobs, they look a little bit smaller than what I thought. In the model, it looks kind of large, but compared to a space marine, you can see that he is definitely a head shorter than them. So all in all, I really enjoyed the models and they are really detailed. Coming at a price of 305 Singapore dollars at retail, I would say that this is a pretty good value and you should get that. If you count in the price of the codex and you count in the price of the models, whoa, this is looking to be something that's really, really of good value. Also remember, do comment Squid Hawk Boys if you want to see me paint up any of these models. This will let me know who the real fans are and also lets me know how much you guys want to see me paint up these models. Thank you guys for watching all the way to the end. And remember, give me a like and subscribe if you found this video useful. And if you could, head on to our Patreon, become a Patreon and support the channel directly. Get a whole year of painting content which I've been producing for the past year. And I hope to see you in the next Beast Snagger painting video. See you guys.